as Manchester City heads to Anfield for what is a 3.45 kickoff. Don't forget, Arsenal are top of the league after their victory over Brentford yesterday. But a victory for either side today at Anfield will take them back to the top of the table. Lots to reflect upon in the papers, Cass. And we're going to delve into that right now. As I say, these two teams, these two managers dominating most, if not all, of the back pages. And uh, we're going to start with the two managers themselves. The Mirror, for mm. example, go with uh, a Robbie Fowler column. The title cruncher, he says Klopp would be the greatest if he leaves with another title. He says Klopp's ability to squeeze every last drop out of his squad is next level. He has uh, managed to bring in heroic performances from youngsters such as Connor Bradley and Jarrell Kwanzaa in the absence of Mo Salah, Trent. Dominic Shobazai, for example, as well. Uh, and as for Pep Guardiola in the mirror as well, Simon Mullock has gone with Mortal Kombat. Pep Guardiola has insisted he isn't Superman, but he's not ready to do a clop. So that indicates hmm. he's not quite yet ready to leave Manchester City, unlike Jurgen Klopp, who has, as we all know, decided he will leave at the end of this season. Um, going back onto Robbie Fowler's point, Cass, before mm. we uh, actually hear from Simon Jordan, who had a word to say about both of these managers. That ability, as he says, to squeeze every last drop out of his squad is next level. Is he right with, the, with what he's saying there? Well, if you're going to judge what you see on the pitch, absolutely. He's spot on. But I think it's the ability to squeeze everything out of everybody at Liverpool Football Club. And I think there's people who work within the club who are absolutely on the same page as Jurgen Klopp in everything he's wanted, done, recruitment. It feels like this is a massive um, team effort, not just on the field, but everybody involved in the football club because Klopp's an exceptional manager, as we know. Mm. And it's just not, you know, about what he's achieved in winning all different titles. And look, Man City have won, what, five of the last six now. So, you know, <laughs> Pep's up there probably the number one of all time as, as managers mm. um, because he's been at Bayern, obviously, in Barcelona as well and achieved incredible feats there as well. So I I personally think he's something... He's got that Shankly thing in him, that which is everything about Liverpool is more important than even him. Mm. Um, and I think the fans recognise that. Which I suppose is is in part why he's deciding to leave because yeah. he has said that he's tired and they need someone else now to guide Liverpool onto the next chapter. Um, which, well, the next page. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, as I was mentioning, Pep Guardiola has reassured City fans that he is not going to be following Jurgen Klopp out of the Premier League just yet. He, he understands the tiredness factor. He says, I am tired sometimes of my job, but now with my job... I am fine, he says. Let's hear what Simon Jordan had to say, because despite Pep's certainty he won't be doing a clop, Jordan isn't convinced that he'll be around for much longer. In this instance, with Klopp, you've, you've got a new generation of football manager now. This football has really changed in the last 10, 12 years, even beyond the Ferguson time, where it's really become personality-driven to some extent and Disneyfication. So these characters, these very large characters, and specifically Klopp, really resonates with people. And that's why I think it's such a sad thing to lose him. I mean, things don't last forever. And I think Klopp will be really missed in the Premier League. I, I think it's a, it's a sad situation that we're losing that sort of personality, that sort of charisma, and that sort of impact, because there are not many of them. And, and that will be followed, I suspect, in reasonable short time by Guardiola. I don't think he'll hang around that much longer. I think if he does, a, if he does another treble this year, which is perfectly capable... He's the sort of manager that goes out when mm. people want more, not less. Not that I can ever imagine there's going to be a period of time when they want less from Guardiola. Okay, that's Simon Jordan's take on the whole situation. But as I say, Guardiola is already reassuring City fans that he's not quite yet ready to leave and clearly believes there's still a project there for him to deliver more I don't on. think it's long. I, I agree with Simon there. I think I've you know, thought that for a while. Well, that... What are you talking about, the season? Is that well, what you mean? well, look, we don't know what's going to happen with City with all the investigations. And mm -hmm. he always said that if he felt that City hadn't been totally honest with him or up front, that he'd obviously move on. Yeah. Um, so, and I do feel that he will, like he did before, you know, he chose to leave Bayern and he left, he chose to leave Barcelona. And I think it will be on his terms. So... You know, we we didn't. How did we? How did this story 
kept be kept quiet about Klopp. Oh, I know, incredible. I mean, it's amazing that in November he's had a conversation about leaving at the end of the season. I know. That has not come out in any shape or form until it was literally said by him. And that's extraordinary in itself. Mm, mm. Um, I will. I, I like every Liverpool fan. I gutted that he's gone, but I have incredible respect for a man that's changed. You know, thirty years without a title, Nat, and then suddenly brings back the title to Anfield. That's a hell of an achievement because the club were a long way behind. You know, he took over, I think, when they finished sixth in two thousand and fifteen, that that season, and immediately they showed signs of. Not winning things, but sides a side that was on the change and could be competitive in all fronts. Well, Danny Murphy has picked out a key player for both sides in this game, in the sense of who yeah. could be key to whichever side gets a result. And that all centres on Rodri. So he's saying that if Liverpool can stop Rodri, they can win this game. Rodri has this incredible stat. He's unbeaten in his last oh, no. 60 games for Manchester City. He's had the most touches of anyone in the Premier League and Danny Murphy is saying that there's nobody is as important for Manchester City as Rodri. So is that is that what's going to be key for Liverpool to get a win today? If they stop him, they win the game. Well, it's part of a number of problems. That is certainly up there at the top of the list. Rodri makes City tick. You know, whether it's a simple ball, simple challenge, tracking people, protecting the back four, no one does it better than Rodri. That's without a doubt. He's a very gifted footballer. Receives the ball in any position, even sometimes in uncomfortable positions, he moves it. He doesn't get robbed of the ball very often. So, yeah, that's a massive one. I personally feel that Haaland and Van Dijk is a bit of a battle. Mm. And and there are mentions in the papers this morning that it is mentioned in Robbie Robbie Fowler's column as well about, you know, that particular battle. Um, that's one of a number. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't disagree with Danny that that's one of the most important things because just look at the numbers. The numbers tell you that this guy has a massive impact on what City do in points return and winning matches. Yeah, that's in Danny Murphy's column in the mail today. Stop Rodri and you may just stop City. That's just a sample of what some of the papers are reflecting when it comes to this huge, huge title race uh, and this huge, huge fixture at Anfield later on today as Liverpool take on Manchester City. The Sunday session comes from Anfield today. We'll keep you right across with everything going on in the Premier League and the WSL. That's from one o'clock. Then from six, you can get your calls in to majestic and experienced Premier League manager Alan Pardew. That that's on the final word phone in and how about this for city fans on monday so tomorrow manchester city's carl walker will be live on monday's drive with andy goldstein and darren ben will he be celebrating will he be mm. heartbroken by what happens at anfield <laughs> you'll find out tomorrow the sunday sports breakfast with natalie sawyer and tony cascarino sunday mornings from six on am on dab via the talk sport app and on your smart speaker talk sport